What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Now yes, we're finally building a gaming PC. Now I've been waiting for this moment throughout most of my life. And yet, we're finally here. So, i show you the box it came in. Show you somebody with the curious. This is it here. So, yes. Now, today I have ordered um, the power supply and the motherboard for bad boy so I got a really good deal with the motherboard if it says what it is and if it goes well then it's a really good deal I got I'm not going to tell me what it is exactly until I'm sure um, and if it isn't then they'll still tell you um, so the plan with this PC is I want it to look good because it's a see-through and when everything is built everything is inside I want to run LED strips around the edge here of the, the, the glass to light up everything. And I think the, the fans light up as well as far as I'm aware, these cooling fans. So I have looked inside, I've looked all over. I got this last week um, and I've always wanted to build my own PC. Don't know why but it's something I've always wanted to do. And here we are, we're finally doing it guys. Now, I've made a list of the next few things. So, we could potentially have the motherboard if all goes well. Now, we need to get the CPU, then uh, GPU for doing some multitasking. A decent one for all of them. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you next week when the power supply comes and we can test the fans. Okay, so I figured out that these metal strips that were on the back, these things here, you can actually take them off, which makes more sense now because when you put in the motherboard, it'll be flat like that where my hand is, and then the graphics card would be here, roughly about here somewhere, and then the slots of the graphics card would be sitting in between here or here depending on how how far down the graphics card is in the motherboard it will be either either one of these two here i'm assuming so i think the next thing we need to buy guys is the power supply we'll buy the power supply then the motherboard then the cpu then the gpu now this video is going to be going on a bit longer than normal so you're going to spend a bit more time with me, yeah, um, and we're going to build this PC all in this video, yes, in weeks to come. Every two weeks I'll be able to buy, I don't know, every week maybe, because they're, cheap, they're, they're not that cheap, the products I'm wanting to buy. Um, I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, so the power supply, I'm guessing, like I said in the last clip, will sit here. With the video cable and that pointing out the way. So, that's what I'm thinking. This PC is going to look so cool when it's all done, guys. I'm going to put lights in here as well. Like LED strips. Oh, I think that will look so cool. Um, all lit up and brick. Ah, <laughs> All lit up and bright and colourful with the fans. Hopefully the fans are good because I want to test the fans as soon as because that's why I want to get the power supply first. Get the fans out of the way. Then we can test the motherboard, CPU, etc. Yeah. Hey, yes. So today the power supply comes for this baby. Yeah. I don't know why I just said it's coming today. Now... I have done a bit more research this morning on the two different types of sockets on the motherboard uh, for the CPUs. Now, I researched the difference between 
Intel CPU socket and the Ryzen AMD socket. So I'm deciding to go for the Ryzen socket. I don't know why I just decided to go for that. So I'm going for the AMD Ryzen 5. I don't know what number is next. But I need to find a graphics card that's got 8 gigabytes with the similar number to the CPU so they can work together um, and I've also looked at RAMs as well so I've got two I found a deal on Amazon so there's two 32, two 32 gigabyte RAMs that plugs into the motherboard um, the goal is to buy two first work with it for a while once I've built all this PC so the plan is I'm going to buy the motherboard next then the CPU so that I can test to see if the motherboard works by putting the fan on top and then if I test it and the fan goes that means it's working. The the RAM next then the graphics card in that order. I don't know why I just decided that would be way more easier to work with. Once I get all the equipment going and if it all goes then we can start looking at the software I want the PC to run now. I am so used to having Windows, so I'm going to go for Windows. I love Windows the way the layout system is and all that. So I'm going to go for Windows and then Windows 11. So, yeah, that's the plan. So this video is going to go on a bit more longer than usual, so you're going to spend a bit more time with me. So let's do along with another quick montage with PC, eh? Yeah? here and I'm recording just in case this happens now I am testing the power supply nearly came today and I'm gonna test to see if this works please don't shock me I'm gonna plug in power supply I'm really nervous about this I really am nervous about this <gasps> It works. This is so freaking cool. Oh, Woo. <laughs> it works, guys. The power supply effing works. As you can see, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> hey there, guys. The PC build is doing really well. So, that was oh my god, the stress I went through just to test the power supply. I was worried in case I would get shot. But I didn't. <laughs> Still alive to tell the story. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god you guys, look at this. Oh if only I can turn it the other way. Should I risk it? Hang on. Hang on. This is amazing. It work, which is good. Which is effing good. This is so freaking cool. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, baby. So, we have power. <laughs> oh, the stress I went through 
the worry, the stress of worrying about are these going to work, are these not going to work, how can I test this without the <sighs> We done it people, we done it. Now, the next task is to get the motherboard. <laughs> the motherboard. I'm so freaking happy right now. Oh man. I love this settings. Now I found out that you can change by pressing this button you can change the settings of the fans. So cool. I like uh like the red one. Can I seem to find First one, it was at. Ooh, oh, I like the pink one. No, <laughs> I was at it and it changed. Hang on, I cannot. Oh, back on. That is a setting I like. Bright and colourful. <laughs> hey everyone. Yes. We're going to continue this PC build. This PC build is going really well. As you've seen, we've got the fans going. The power supply is going very well. Now, I have been speaking to someone, one of my support workers. He's got a PC that he doesn't use. So, he's going to give me some of the parts of that PC. Um, like the solid state drive, the maybe not so much the motherboard not too sure about that one yet maybe the RAM maybe even the graphics card again that one I'm not too sure about the only things I would probably need to buy is the motherboard and the CPU if that's the case then that's really good I save a lot of money and we can get this build this PC up and going fully sooner Okay, so that's me got a hard drive installed. Yeah guys, I got a free hard drive. Somebody gave me their hard drive that they were going to get rid of. So it's got 78 gigabytes on it, as far as I am aware. Uh, so that's it installed. Now, the next thing I'm saving for is the motherboard. That's what I'm going to get next for the speeds. Yes. So I have, oh man, uh, this feels so good right now. So the AMD Ryzen processors, I have worked out what the four digit numbers are for. So I have worked out that the four digit numbers are relating to the graphics card. So I have to choose between these Ryzen options and I have to choose a graphics card it's a similar number to these numbers. Whatever number I pick here. If you see this. Morning, 
you guys know today I am super excited because today I get to order hang on I keep forgetting this this phone is really bad for zooming while talking anyway so I get to order the motherboard today now this could be a good decision but it also could be a bad financial decision because the board is £77. Now, the original one I was looking at is £103, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. And then that means I get to order the CPU. If it does fail, it means I'll have the CPU. So, let's just see how it goes. So guys, I just, uh, after calling PC Curries and asking them, once we've got the motherboard installed, once we've got the CPU installed, which I have them on the go, um, we have the Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, I uh, ordered, I ordered it today, I don't know exactly when it's coming, but it's been ordered. I will be ordering the motherboard. Now, hear me out here. So, I ordered another motherboard last week, right? So, it was an ATX motherboard. So, if you don't know, there's different sizes of motherboards. So, you've got mini ATX, you've got micro ATX, and you've got the standard ATX. Now, this case here only supports up to the micro ATX motherboard. Now I bought the wrong size, so I had to send it back, um, and I, I just recently got refunded, so I have to wait for my money to officially go into my my account to order to reorder another motherboard, which is going to be the right size this time. So I've already found one, and it's got four uh, RAM slots. It's got a graphics card slot, which is what I wanted, and it supports AMD. CPUs. Now, as soon as I can get a hold of the motherboard, we will time lapse me installing it and installing the CPU. So, yeah, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this PC up and going, you guys. I honestly can. <laughs> Guys, I am not kidding. This took me all morning to figure this out. And wait for without further ado. <laughs> we got the fans going, the CPUs going. All we need now is a video cable to connect to my TV. We've already got an HDMI cable as well. 
that's all we need people to get the thing going. Yeah. Now round about this part of the build, I put in the CPU. Now, I put a bit too much pressure on the CPU while I was installing the cooler and I found out that some of the pins were bent. But we got it fixed, but we won't know that until we officially get the PC up to the great, it's just that I cannot get it past the boot light. But, I think I've found the problem. So, if I turn it on real quick, quick, yes, I have everything here. This is so exciting for the future of this channel. Look, watch it, watch it. See, that goes off, right? Then the VGA light comes on for a bit. And I know I'm not supposed to turn it on without the cooler, but this is just to show you what happens. The boot light should come on. There we go, right, the boot light. So when I turn on the, the, the monitor, the monitor's actually already on, but if I turn it back on again. This is the second time this has happened, by the way. And I think I found the problem, like I said. Look, see? Boom! It's saying there's no cable connected, and there clearly is a cable connected from the graphics card to the mod. Like, I've I been buying the wrong CPUs. Yeah, I've spent all, I've already spent nearly two hundred pounds on this this build. This <laughs> is so annoying. Two two eighty, I should really say. Now it's going to be over three hundred pounds because the CPU that I need to buy is a third generation CPU. Um, I've downloaded the manual. When I got this motherboard, I didn't see the QR code there. So I've scanned it and I've got the manual for this motherboard. So I've been looking at that to see what it supports. Um, because I am getting really high on the budget here now. And I'm getting really intense about this. But this is just a part of these kind of projects. But the good thing is I'm learning. So this is just a starter build. And in the future the plan is to max everything out. That's a dream build right there. <laughs> yeah.